Huh? S -s 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 santa I'm not Santa, I'm Crass. But what about Santa? There is no Santa, there's only Crass. Happy Crassmas! Mm -hmm. everybody welcome to the brony show i am your host as always here to bring you the merriment of somebody who has completely lost all track of his life and of course the brony community and fun and frivolity Two, we are at brony show episode 286 and we are a week away from christmas that's right next week next monday will be december 25th christmas the ho ho holidays where we will probably some of us will have to work and maybe get mediocre gifts spend time with family members that drive us absolutely crazy and uh then we actually have to reflect back on our entire year and wonder what happened before we start making promises to the next year we inevitably fail <laughs> merry christmas everybody Happy Black holidays. people. Happy hearts warming. Yes. Uh, oh my Black God. We. People. I just not only Black noticed. Black people. Don't you mean crab yeah. people? Black people. Why that? I don't know. I just wanted to say. All right. <laughs> anyway, a hearty hello to a Comet Star Shop, former co-host, but still friend of the show and random interloper. Yes, random interloper indeed. What are you doing today, friend? Oh, for we, the show. oh, actually, I'm glad you asked, because we are going to be talking about the latest MLP annual comic that has come out for the holiday season. For the holiday season. Wow. Yep. Tis the season. Tis the season for random comics and merchandise. <clears throat> that is true. Buy our <laughs> toys. <laughs> buy all our places and toys. <laughs> all right. <sighs> But a little bit of warning out there for those who are watching us live and also for some of you who may be watching the recording a little bit later. Unfortunately, our IRC has decided to no longer function. So we have instigated Rule 63. You know, I could have made a better joke what, on we that. All... Mm -hmm. Rule, Rule 64, you say? Porn? Enlighten uh, us, please. Porn? Porn? No, that, that, that's uh, five rules up. Rule, no. no, no. Rule sixty. Rule sixty-four. If they exist, there's porn of it. No, 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 no. no oh. That's thirty-four. Yes, yeah, thank you. My bad. I was thirty numbers up. Yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking a different number related. But yes. I um, know you were thinking th sixty-nine. Yeah, we'll go with that. But yes, uh, what we're going to be doing instead, um, we have invoked. Well, basically, we invoked the rule that that we basically abolished that we blocked for some time ago. We are um, allowing live stream chat to function this time around. So we are going to be, not live stream, YouTube. 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 The YouTube live chat. So we will be using that to communicate with our chatters here that are watching us live and in order to respond to anything that they throw out at us because apparently I can't learn to ignore them. <gasps> Profanity. I know, right? Oh. <laughs> Insanity. But by, by the way, Rule 63 is trans is uh, flipping the genders. Oh, I thought it was 64. Yes, yeah, no, that's 63. It's flipping the genders. Uh, Whatever. Let, <laughs> Doesn't let, matter. Let, I think we should just go with rule rule number one. When it comes that's to circuit, main I mean, that's Fight Club. That's Fight Club. No, the rule number one is Fight Club. Okay. Always. Uh, rule circuit, rule brony show circuit main can't get anything right and he tends to get anything um completely wrong. 
That's just confused. No, I'm not wrong. Not exactly. <laughs> no, I peas and carrots. I don't want to say a bad word. I do. <laughs> don't. Oh. Fuck. Anyway, let's let's get let's get back on track here. Uh, not that we ever had one to begin with. Oh, Wait. you you get you get completely de off railed when I join. Oh, we get de off railed yeah. anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and immediately jump into a big topic here before we even start talking about anything. The proverbial elephant in the room, as it were, that has recently come out. What? So, okay, so this elephant is named Horton. Horton hmm. is unfortunately a weird little elephant that has gone through a lot of trauma in his past. Recently, the first thing was that he started to hear voices. They said that they were speaking for the trees. Unfortunately, he got committed because of it. But when he got released, he thought he we thought he was cured. Then he started to sit on some eggs. We believe it might have been because his previous owner was some green guy that unfortunately was a bit of a crabby and also got into constant fight with the neighborhood cats. Now, the Siri, the Dr. Seuss jokes aside, uh, we're actually talking about the um, leaks, quote unquote leaks, about season eight, <clears throat> season nine and generation five. Or the supposed end of the current generation of My Little Pony. Now, I say supposed, because at the moment, nothing has been officially confirmed. This is all hearsay, happenstance, and essentially some guesswork. Huh. Amazing enough, I've missed all everything you're talking about. I only got little snippets of it at best, but in all honesty, I'm keeping it that way. The fact is that and at the moment, it could easily be some somebody's some idea of a joke, or maybe just some misinformation... A lot of stuff getting thrown out there, and until something official is actually pointed out, I'm not going to go ahead and delve into those rabbit holes. What we can at least confirm is that not only are we getting a Season 8, but a Season 9 that has been confirmed, for the most part. So the pony ride is going on for quite a lot longer. Horton hears a domestic disturbance and does nothing about it. No, that's a season 10. No, that's the revival. That's the next step. <laughs> <laughs> the, ne the, next gener the next generation of My Little Pony, things shit gets real, yo. Next generation of My Little Pony, they unfortunately bring in Kratos, the glue maker. No, see, <laughs> no, see uh, no, I was going to say, actually, no, next season, next season of my, uh, no, next generation of My Little Pony, first First thing that happens, pony comes up on screen. This is crack. <laughs> <laughs> this is crack. You don't want to drink this stuff. Nah, okay, okay. Oh, well. Uh, it, dated, refer dated reference aside. Dated reference and um, obvious me running the joke into the ground unceremoniously. So, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so, yeah, um, sorry, apparently some people are having difficulty with the U getting into the YouTube live chat. Okay, um... Hey, and I'm gonna get a link soon, as soon okay. as I find it. Right, well, it's pretty easy, all you need to do is just go into the mirror view, go into the mirror where our YouTube is on the main site, then from there, you literally just have to click, uh, bring up the actual YouTube page that we live stream from, and the YouTube chat is there, or... Deathlight Productions can throw it into our backstage, but maybe he should also put it into our lounge just for... Yeah, I was going to put it in the lounge, too, so... Thank you very much, Deathlight. <clears throat> All right. So, um, Comet, are you going to join us a little bit on talking about random shenanigans in the Brony community for this week? I haven't been part of the community, dude, and God knows how long. That's what makes the commentary but that much I, more interesting. I, I mean, I, I, I guess I could, I don't know, unless somebody wants to come play fucking GTA with me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard G, I haven't played GTA in a while. And all honesty, I'd probably be more than tempted to, um, if it were actually next week at least. Next week? Why next week? Because it's Christmas. Ah, I see. Yeah. 
Because I'm just trying to find people to do Doomsday High stuff with, tell you the fucking truth. No, it's I a don't great d- way to make money, which is really fun to play, too. Oh, I don't doubt that. Unfortunately, uh, we're a little di- indisposed here because we got an, on a fun little podcast to go with. So... Yeah, if I'm not if I'm not like posting five times a week anymore, then maybe. But right now, <laughs> well, let's go ahead and um, do a little bit of warm up with our vocal cords here, as well as talk a little bit about our daily lives. And what better way to do it than a little bit of what's up, Brony? So, what's up, Bronies? Shit. Uh, went shopping, got my mom a Christmas present, and that's basically what my week has been. Yeah, mine hasn't been too much better. Um, the fraudulent charges I mentioned <coughs> last week, they finally cleared without ever posting. I managed to finally get my financial affairs back in order, though I almost had to, I almost lost my phone and my internet in the process because I, my card had to be canceled at the worst possible time. Circuit, we all lost our internet. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's also that, but that's that's a whole nother thing there, and I think. We're oh, gonna... but fifteen, uh, fifteen states have sued the government. Yeah, no, trust oh, me, I, trust me. It, as soon as the news came out, I pretty much said, yeah, it's not gonna last. Yeah, that that it, there, it's gonna it's it's a snarling beast at this point that just got it, unleashed. Basically, it's pretty bad. When literally every poll that comes out says like 80% of both sides of the partisan politics basically say, no, don't do this. And they still do it anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we're going to we're not going to delve too much into that. Um, a lot of a lot of fun stuff there. But I think for the most part, everybody is just getting wound up and ready for the holidays to come or finally a finish already, depending on your the avenue you're living in yeah i'm i'm not done i'm i'm on um holiday break for a month nice and finished my finals got an 89 in my finals nice Ooh. so somebody's riding high well it just only reason why i scored so that was because i forgot the name of two different types of plastic i know how to identify it though so that's a plus for me there you go yeah but, oh that's kind of the thing in auto body work. You need to know what materials are what. Yeah, it's like I just couldn't remember the names of them, but it was like, if it if it smears, you put a adhesion promoter on it and use this material. If it doesn't, then you're fine not to use that adhesive promoter and you just smear this stuff on. Mm-hmm. So, well, uh, for topics that go over yeah. my head, let's go ahead and move on. And what better way to talk than um, well news of course and uh we don't have a lot in the way of news but there's some interesting announcements that have recently coming out start there is announcements into which are coming out and to which is as of his gay anyway um Ugh. oh man right the so, rumor come out the rumor come out but no in this case uh, games... Bruno Mars is gay. <laughs> oh my god actually in this that case though there, there is a large flood <laughs> of recent announcements on Pony fan games that have been in works for some time, and it actually, they all came out this week. Starting <laughs> off with one called Main Quest, which is actually a tie-in to a Pony OC creator called Dream Maker. Apparently, they have decided to bring out a four-point plan. Of course, the first step would be the Pony Dream Maker, so you can create your OCs, Second step, making an online game that people can actually chat and communicate with said OCs. And the third step is actually making all of that creation and talking elements be merged together into a big RPG-like environment. The fourth step yeah. is profit. Wait, does it actually say four, four step profit in there? No, I just really wanted to do that. Uh, I, fit, no, I, 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 I immediately I had this feeling there was a joke coming for that. I was just looking at the screen. I was trying to see if, like, it was just hidden behind Derby. No, nah, no. Nah, uh, the, the, there is only three steps, though. But, um, yeah. Essentially, they are planning on making using their OC creator to make an RPG for the in the long run. Which is exciting. I'm actually a little bit excited for that. Make I, it like, wow, and I might play it. 
Well, you got um, Legends of Equestria, which is not like WoW. It's like some. It's a, like an. It's like an MMO, and it's free, so that's something. Well, WoW is an MMO. It's better than WoW then, because it's free. <laughs> I haven't played anything like that in forever. But... Yeah. All right. So we are keep, we're trying to keep an eye out in our Discord here as well. Apparently, the YouTube chat does require people to actually log in with accounts. You can't post anonymously. Go figure. Believe me, that's not something I set. That's not something I can change. All hail Lord Google. <laughs> but so as long as you have a Gmail, it should automatically oh. give you an account. Yeah, you, you'd think so. But in all honesty, I'm going to leave that one alone for now. Now the next game, Adventure of the Lunar Bolts, was apparently an RPG, a fan-made RPG that was been in, that has been in the works of some time, and in fact, it went completely quiet until just recently. It actually posted that they are still working on it, and they posted some screenshots of their latest um, iteration. Of course, you can a lot of it is pretty obvious to tell that it's probably being made with an RPG Maker type engine, but it still looks interesting, and I'm still excited for it. What? Especially since apparently you're going to be able to deal with um, the statues, the uh, weeping angels of Doctor Who. Or Weep. weeping ponies oh, of boy. Doctor Who, I guess. By the, speaking of Doctor Who, the, the Christmas special is going on right now. Oh, yes. I heard about that. And I, I, I actually got to check that out. And For any with... of those who care. I am two seasons behind. It's like, uh. <laughs> Actually, what they did with this one is pretty interesting. They got somebody to act like the original first doctor from the 1960s. The black well, and white also, doctor. <laughs> the black and white doctor. So I got to admit, it, it is kind of interesting for them to actually go that far, but at least they didn't do the um, Carrie Fisher route. Okay, okay I'm sorry. Yeah. The, CG, the CG in Rogue One wasn't that bad on her. No, I know, I know. It, actually, I didn't find anything jarring about the CG at all, and I don't know why people were complaining. Yeah. I'm just, it, it's, just good, Rogue One. it just feels nicer to have somebody actually doing like a look-alike acting rather than a uh, full-on CG character kind of deal to me. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, pretty much, it's one of those decisions where it's like, okay, well, it's obvious that she can't, you know, she can't play a young Leia anymore, and we do, you know, what's our what's our options? Yeah, I'll, and I mean, I'll bet that they actually looked. They probably looked for a while, trying to see if there was anybody that they felt could do it, and then fi then finally just decided to screw it. We go this route. Well, they, they could also they CGI the fucking general too. True. Uh, yeah. I, well, yeah. Actually, the, actually, the funny thing is that in some of the shots, he the uh, where you don't see his face, it's actually his son. Oh, really? Wow. From what I from what I remember hearing, uh, in fact, I need to double check that because I remember hearing that after the movie or seeing that after the movie came out. Let me double, let me reconfirm that. I seem to remember hearing that um, any shot that didn't see his face or was you know like was from behind or anything, it was supposedly his son to, uh, doing the doing the part. Cool. Uh, let me see. It was General Tarkin. Tarkin, yes. Yeah, Tarkin. All right, well, while he's looking into that, uh, finally, on the third... Well, there's a fourth game, uh, but you'll have to check the news because um, they released a big video about it. But third game, Daydreaming Derpy has been announced that they're going to be coming out of beta and releasing the first version of the game in early 2018. And this is one that I have been following a little bit. Um, it's a cutesy little style of Derpy basically working, collecting stamps, and doing all sorts of shenanigans as Derpy does. Of course, we will be um, giving this a play and a uh, talk about, talking about when it actually officially comes out. And I am officially excited for it. So, yay. Now, who's ready for random pony merchandise? Oh, boy. Go for it, man. All right. Well, starting off with Amazon's recent postings, looks like uh, they've popped up a lot of Brusha plushies. Starting off with Luna has now a pa popped up as a brushable plushie. Brusha plush. Brusha plush. Huh. I must. Okay. I must be confusing something I read because I know his family was involved in the movie somehow. 
I don't now. I did, now I can't remember what it is. Apparently, uh, no. Uh, the body double for Tarkin was a guy, was an act, a British actor named Guy Henry. Oh. He okay. also did the voice. So. Okay. But yeah, it's just yeah, so, it's just one of those things. I know I saw something. I saw something involving his family. Like his family was directly involved in the film, though. I swear. I. All right. Any case, um, so you get a brushable Luna, which is actually pretty cool. The mane looks nice. The wings are funny. The Celestia. wings are always funny. Yeah, the Celestia is there. Of course, we also see the main six once again, and also the little blob pony um, keychain things. Yay. And along with that, with merchandise, uh, Amazon has also posted a bunch of My Little Pony movie figures, starting off with the action scene between Twilight Sparkle and... Uh, I want so badly to say her real name, but um, Temp Sh Shadow Tempest. Tempest Shadow. You we'll go switched. with that, too. Tempest Shadow. Shadow of the Tempest. The Tempest Shadow, whatever. Anyway, so you get a, you can get a nice little action shot figure. You can also get temp, uh, Tempest Shadow figure itself, and also Celestia, Fluttershy, Verity, all the wonderful little brushy, plushy figures that have you've seen, including Mermaid Ponies once again. Sea ponies. Sea ponies. Yep. Shooby doo. Shoop shoop be doo. All right, so, and, um, of course, we are going to be talking about this, but the My Little Pony Holiday Special for 2017 has been released. And as I mentioned also previously, we will be talking about that in a little bit. So if you want to get a little preview of what this comic entails, be ready for that. Of course, I do encourage everybody and anybody to go and buy it because it is a fun little comic. It supports the artists, supports creators, and the comics are a... Are really good. I, I do enjoy them. I enjoy them fully. So, going on to the other bits of merchandise, I'm taking a page from our friend over there at the pre show, Coal Dust. And of course, we were talking about t shirts, We Love Fine, and T Public. And he said, I should go and pick out a bunch of ones that I liked and talk about them. So, I did. Of course, uh, I am going to be talking about the more recent releases in regards to t-shirts. Um, fortunately, it looks like the the, the T-Public sale that was um, being talked about here is no longer in effect, so they are all $20, but they are still really awesome. I've been called. Yes, <laughs> I have taken a page hey. from your book. Say what? Someone called. Yeah, last week, when you've mentioned I should talk about the t-shirts. Oh, yeah, because there's some really nice ones. Speak of thine devil, and they shall appear. Oh, he's not that bad. <laughs> you give me too much credit. I know. Yeah. The devil? But, God, so... I haven't gone by that name in years. <laughs> you give yourself too much credit as well. <laughs> it's, all, it's all good. I've been called Hellion for a number of years. All Doesn't right. matter. All right, so let's go ahead and start, oh, let's start with these shirts here, because I'm literally <laughs> crowded with a, hundreds of tabs of this. Starting okay, off with, starting off with My Little Pony Transformers. Well, Behold, me. Twilight Sparkle, be the Transformer. Ooh. In all honesty, I'd be highly tempted to buy uh, an Applejack version of this just for a uh, blanked mind. I'm not sure if he would hate me or love me for it. Neat. Or both. So there's that. Oh, kind of, yeah, definitely looks like it's going for uh, Transformers animated style. Mm -hmm. I want to say. Yeah, it, it kind of looks like the more anime-ish one that has recent, come out in recent years. Oh, I was gonna fact, say I think, that. In fact, I think it is directly that because I just realized it says Friendship is animated. So yeah, it's Transformers animated that came out like three, four years ago. When did that come out? Uh, I don't really know. I don't follow the Transformers all that well. I know it came out in 08, before okay. the, well, it came out before the Bane movies, or just as the Bane movies were coming out. Hmm. Well, for, reference, for an actual Transformer that this is based on, well, I'll put it in backstage. 
Well, for the next shirt, we have Neon Twilight Sparkle, which um, actually I what I thought that was kind of hilarious after I'm um, kind of going a little bit with the um, Lazy Rider um, 80s movie thing last week. But yes, this is part of a Neon series of shirts, where which basically it screams so much 80s, it's not even funny. But I find it hilarious still. Mm-hmm. And you not only have Twilight Sparkle, but you also have Celestia, Cadence, Luna. I think I also saw Starlight Glimmer and also um, Tempest Shadow. But yeah, behold the colors. The colors, Duke. The colors. I'm colorblind, kid. <laughs> uh, so shiny. Pretty, pretty. Shiny, shiny. And of course, just to prove what I was mentioning, here's the Luna one. And she's even sporting the leg warmers and those um gl shades with the uh, lo with the um the shades with the shades. What what do they call those things? The sunglasses that have the lines through them? Uh is that was that always an 80s thing? I thought that I thought that was more of a I, uh, I don't know. Uh, I could I could have sworn it was 80s, especially with the leg warmers. Wait, leg warmer is definitely around there, but I think the shades is a little bit more modern time. <laughs> no, definitely not modern. No, 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 no. That those things were being made fun of when I was a kid. I mean, for crying out loud, um, well, I think it was no Rex Bebop were um weirder shades, not quite those. Mhm. Mm but as I have posted in the pics and gifts. You will never be as cool as a robot in No, 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 you're banned, you're banned from ever talking about that. You posted it everywhere, you're banned. All right, now moving on to, now this is a weird one, um, it's called Death Evolution Flurry Heart. I have no idea why Death Evolution is part of it, but the art looks pretty awesome, so I'm going with it. It's because of the double wings. Maybe well, that's big it. Wings. Oh yeah, I did, I did kind of see the double. Now I see the double wings there. Huh. Yeah. Oh no, it's pony and a. Moving on. So, <laughs> those of you who like the up. old memes from early fandom, you can now get a T-shirt based on said memes. <laughs> Mainly the magic. And the magic poster and all the other fun posters that they came out with. Yeah, I grabbed the oh, magic the one. Obama I like posted. Twilight. The old Obama Hope posters, yeah. And they got a bunch of sh the sh shutter shades. Cool. So that's what they're called. Hmm. Mm -hmm. so, so, yeah. so just a quick question relating to the previous shirt. Uh, so if it's double wings, does that, make, does that make her a bipegasus? Like a biplane? Is that what they're yeah, called? Probably. Yeah. <coughs> you know, I think I'm just going to post this here and see if I can blow everybody's brains. Well, there's a, there's a history in the mythology about having more than one wing and stuff like that. Mm. Set of wings. All right. Ooh, neat. Does that make Daybreaker. helicopters mythical creatures? And now here we have a daybreaker that is a little more interesting. Just a, just enough is to, is taken away from the bottom for it to not for, no nah, you know what I no even I still wouldn't wear this. Yeah I know it's one of those like you you cut you, it's awesome but you're not sure if you'd ever really wear it you know. Mm-hmm. Well here's something that you would wear and for the holidays too, snowfall frost, or starlight glimmer being all Scroogey like. But, Love the simple fact that they stuck with like a Christmas Christmas tale or Christmas Carol, and did a good twist on it. That's something that I like to see, which we've mentioned several times. But it is it was a fun twist. Wait, what the? Never mind. Moving on. Okay, and next shirt. This is actually a pretty fun one because this is a Chrissy one of this, but they had several different styles going on. This one, the Loveless. Essentially, it takes a um, a silhouette of the of po of said pony character and 
puts little um swirls around them in interesting colors to reflect their um, normal colorings. It is a very neat silhouette. It's pretty nice, and they got several of them for different ponies. I just figured the Chrissy one was the most standout-ish to give an idea of how they all look. And, of course, also to join in the Christmas, Spirit of Hearts Warming Past the, with Applejack there. Nice little um, frosty thing. And now, here's for the... Yes, this is cute, but I'm not sure if I would actually wear this on a t-shirt. Mod and Boulder. Just have it on your mug. I'm not <laughs> sure if you'd want this on a mug either. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait for this for to post and then move on. Well, and then then get a um then get a sticker version of it and put it on the side of your car. <laughs> you would not. I well, I guess you could put this on the side of your car. I'm not sure you'd want to though. It's kind of hard to see Boulder at first. Yeah, that that's part and parcel of it. Really? I don't see no Boulder. All I see is a pebble. All right. And here we have Iron Man. I have no idea if this is a reference to the song or to a movie or what, but it looks pretty awesome. I definitely want to say that's a um, oh, it definitely it, it is definitely <laughs> it is an Iron Man uh, related thing, actual Marvel Iron Man. Rainbow Dash, the Iron Mayor. She is Iron Mare. Let's look at the next t-shirt right there. And now, to going off of Transformers to something else, My Little Ponytron. Ooh, uh, a Voltron or Megazord. It all depends on your point of view. Or combination from Transformers. You know what, considering the fact that they named it Ponytron, I'm definitely going to yeah, go with the fact they went with, with Voltron. Voltron. Yeah, they went with Voltron on this one. We should all... <coughs> Though, can I uh, make a joke about Rarity being the crotch? <sighs> and apparently Voltron's got a pretty <laughs> nice horn there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now that I've destroyed that t-shirt forever for everybody... Here we have one Transformers because we had a female Megatronic. Eh. Yay. Moving on. Here is M6 t-shirt. Of course, this one is just a t-shirt with a, the different main six uh, posted on there. Nice, uh, nice artwork, uh, nice coloring, fun little shirt. And the fun part about it is you can actually get a t-shirt with just one of each of these instead of all six together. So I thought that was pretty cool. And this is Sparkly Soul, which actually looked really awesome until I actually got a closer look just now. And now, I don't know, it looks like Twilight in her freaking 70s or something. It just does not look as good as I thought initially. No, that's that's twenty year smoker twilight in the face. There you go. Yeah, I go, I go with that. Yeah, that, that does that. In fact, you, you know what? You know, that's the that's twi that's twilight's been working the corner for years now. <laughs> I've been on this block longer than you've been a freaking get. <laughs> oh god! You know what? You no, know from South Park. Dance. Would anybody like a dance? <laughs> Ah, uh, and finally, on the T Public, and this is definitely one of the best ones, Sailor Celestia. Though, in all honesty, I think it should be Sailor Luna than Celestia, but it still, the whole thing is just awesome. Nice. <laughs> oh, boss, to be fair, we can make Sailor Moon jokes with Luna easier. It takes real talent to do it with Celestia. You know, that actually, that actually reminds me. I, 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 never, I never understood why there wasn't, or at least I don't remember there being a Sailor Scout of basically representing the sun. Or uh, at least some kind of enemy that, that, you know, represented the sun or something. Hmm. Sailor Moon Wiki! Uh, you go ahead and go for that. 
Now let's go on to We Love Fine, because I decided to delve into them a little bit. And starting off with the Pixel Pony Mat. And I got I gotta admit, I am really tempted to get this. Now, what would be better than having a awesome ma pony mouse pad? How about having one with a bunch of pixelated ponies? It's a nice yeah. little mouse pad but with um. Now, um, now when you say pixelated ponies, it just makes me think. Uh, I hmm. Uh, that sounds wrong. Ah, those po their eyes look horrible. They're but they're eight bit. Okay. They're lines. Yeah. They're cool. literally just lines. How do they? How can they look horrible when they're literally just three pixels in a vertical line? Yeah, it, it looks like any other eight-bit character you would ever see on a Nintendo game. True. Oh no 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 no! They they look nice. They look nice, but just the phrasing pixelated. Um, pixelated. Did pony. they do crimes? <laughs> no, it's just that these are that we we have to question whether we want to actually show these in public. That kind of pixelated. Okay, no, I, just, I don't know. I, I could have phrased that better. I'm gonna, not going to lie, but I... Oh, well. I will... I will carry this burden. So... I'll quote Harvey Birdman here. Well, the, the show Harvey Birdman. Ha, ha, ha. Dangly parts. <laughs> and they next... Because they know they'll have nobody else to blame. And next on the Wheel of Fine train. By the way, big reason why we're mentioning Wheel of Fine, they have a sale on all things Pony, 30% off until the end of the month. It's true. So you get, So if you see anything you like here or you want to check it out, highly recommend it. Do check it out. We got a lot of great Pony stuff and still more coming in. Including... Like, okay, this is awesome. I like this because they finally realized that with these zip-up sweatshirts, you can have a graphic on the back. It's amazing because for the longest time they only made zip up sweatshirts that had the the graphic on the front and it took up the entire front. Which there's one problem with that, and that is there's the zip a zipper part. in the middle. Yes, and if you're yeah. a person like me who always wears a zip up sweatshirt and never zips it up just because I then you can't enjoy the full graphic. You can kind of get away with it with some other ones, but with this one, it's perfect. You've got the full giant graphic on the back side, completely uninterrupted by any zipper at all. And also you've got the My Little Pony logo in the front, right in right off towards the side in the upper chest area, the whatever. It's the lapel. Lapel. There we go. So all in all, like 10 out of 10, good design. <laughs> Sorry, I, I've been I've I've been eyeballing this one for a while now because no, I, I, no, it's it's just, just... you sounded like something out of QVC and I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. <laughs> this is the shirt for you. Not only do you get the image of the background, you get a My Little Pony logo in the lapel. Definitely made to order. This is the epitome of all sweatshirts that everybody would want to wear. What can I say? I like I like my pony merch, especially when it's on point like this. Oh no! <laughs> also, I'm, look no at that, argument look at that! Look at that adorable Luna face on the back there. That that is just cute. See, he's doing you the QVC deny. thing again. I love this. <laughs> 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 no, it's okay. I love it, man. I, now let's go. Let's go ahead and move on here before you start advertising more stuff <laughs> like that. Now we got the pony periodic table. Again. I, can smell you. I think it's a classic one, actually. They've had it for a while. Yeah, I think I might have accidentally grabbed that of the classics before I changed but, it up to show you. But either way, definitely worth bringing up because I'm sure a lot of our viewers have not seen this shirt yet. Now, if you like ponies and also you are a <laughs> science <blank>. geek. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> no, it's okay. So, yeah. So, we got a comment in the call and blinked uh, over my shoulder. Everything's coming out of the woodwork. Does that mean he's going to slap you again? Oh, please don't slap me. <laughs> Not again, you mean. <laughs> please don't put me in the box. <laughs> Cody, slap him! He can't hear you, but I can hear, I can hear you. Ow. All right, let's move along here. Now, smile, pinky cannon. Now, who wouldn't want an awesome shirt like that? Pinkie Pie rocketing with rainbow power just to get you to smile. 
or probably decimate you with her smile with her um body velocity whatever works first i'd like to see real peaky pie cannon i don't think i'd want to see that i think that would scare me <laughs> i will say the artwork on that is absolutely adorable yes yes it is i especially also is... like the velvet thrust it's also worth noting that she is in ramified mode. Ramified, yeah. rainbowfied, ra ra ramifications. The it ramifications may, are extraordinary. It may it may be late, but in response to Tokoi, hey now. And I think um, our, uh, our I think a cold dust man like this one, considering his uh, reaction to the previous Luna. Here is another awesome Luna t-shirt. Unfortunately, no sweatshirt on this one, but the t-shirt more than makes up for it. It's an awesome little design. You can see the curls of the hair, a nice little flower in the ear, and just a side view with um, a, an expressionless glance that just, just screams um, powerful yet adorable. That is quite cute, yes, and it is very on point, I would say. See, I keep thinking he's going to bring up trains, and I keep thinking, damn it, am I going to have to bring up that? He's saving that for later. I'm pretty sure of that. Now for well, something... No, 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 I, I'm in pony mode. I'll get into trains later, trust me. Uh, <laughs> well, well, later. Later today, I figured today would be a sad is... date for Cole Dustin. Uh, one thing I will say about this shirt is it is a good shirt in its design in the sense of it is not obviously pony. So if you're trying to be pony, or... Be covered in pony things, but be very discreet about it. It does. It could just pull off as a normal shirt. Just Please with keep a cool in mind, graphic. he is talking about the previous shirt, not this one. This That's true. Yeah, this not, one, this one is, is fucking adorable no. and um, is very blatantly cute, adorable pony. So if you're trying to go discreet, uh... this is not the way to do it. But if you want to go cute, adorable pony, this is one hell of a way to do it. That's true. Especially if you like seeing Rarity and Spike. Uh, no, no, this is Rarity and Sweetie Belle. This is that. This is based on that whole costume thing that they were doing when Rarity was kind of losing her gourd and ha trying to re um, recapture Sweetie Belle's youth and all that. Yeah, but you understand? I'm just doing that joke because we don't have a Rainbow Dash with a hole in her. Wait, wait pardon what? You know, I, I'm just going to keep moving on here. He's, try, yeah, he's, trying, he, he's trying to make my joke. Back the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. All right, and here we have the My Little Pony Princess of Friendship. Now, this one I liked more because it, well, it was a little bit different. Be, instead of being in the pony or equestria girl style, it's more like um, anthro-human style. But it also has um, a very artistic style all its own. Re really awesome. Um, just kind of pops. Well, that's definitely her question girl's top. Yeah, that just says Twilight the Mage. You know, I, I think I think I might you might be right there, and I might have mistaken it a bit. That does look like her Quester girl's top, so maybe a more stylized version of herself there. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a stylized EQG version. Uh, one thing that is uh worth noting though is Wheel of Fine has decided to delve into making sweaters. Yes. So there's uh, quite a number of sweaters. In fact, speaking of which, uh. I think this might be a sweater here as well, from the looks of it. Or at least a yes, really thick is. shirt. Or at least a long sleeve shirt, which is different, because for, for the longest time, they mostly just kind of specialized in t-shirts and whatnot. So now you have stuff for the colder seasons of the year. Now, how would you feel about my, the Pony Bunch? That's the way they became the Pony Bunch. Ah, Spike's the maid. <laughs> he is the maid. Imagine them all living together in the they... same house. Season 5 opportunity. Make them all... No, Generation 5 opportunity. Make them all live in the same house. Well, uh... They... Minus Spike... Or, sorry, minus Celestia, they were all in that one episode in Season 5, the, the mid-season finale, you know, with with uh, the Tantibus. Yeah, for, yeah. Yeah. Yep. is a dream of electric sheep. Yes. Ah, true enough. And, or magic uh, sheep, but yeah, yeah. And here we have oh, one perfect. with My Little Pony, the villains. Of course, it's um, hearkening back to a few of the older villains with this one as well. The have Trixie uh, there as well as Starlight Glimmer. 
But if you just wanted a t-shirt full of villains, this is one way to go. I thought you were going to dress Twilight as a villain. No. No, she hasn't gone that evil yet. And finally, in the t-shirt variety, we have a nice little callback to episode 100. The Doctor with Derpy and Alonzi. Uh, honestly, I love the fact that the 100th episode is more or less just them doing a shout out to the fans. Yeah, too bad we won't get a 200 episode. Or will they fall into that? If they uh, wait, what episode number did we just end on? I don't to the wiki. Know. I mean, the if only reason I could... It, if you think about it, if it's two more seasons of 26, that's 52 more episodes. Oh, right. we've had 169 episodes so far. Oh, shit, we are going to get a 200. <laughs> It'll be the ninth season. I can tell you that right now. Well, they pretty much all, um, pretty much um, said that there is going to be a ninth season, so... There's hope. There's an episode. Hey. All right. And that is it for the news. Now, of course, the challenge of the week. And I'm not going to lie. I've been trying to remember what it is. And I've completely and utterly forgot again. And Santa hats. Oh, yeah. Ponies and Santa hats. So give me a quick second. Actually, yeah. actually, it's ponies unable to figure out Santa hats, according to the thing at the top of the website. Uh, yeah, ponies trying to figure out Santa hats, right. Also, let's not forget about the uh, other part, which will be mentioned in a little bit, the uh, protest initiative art challenge, the party favor with a knife challenge. Which means that we have you to thank for Dr. Bristle giving us two posts instead of one. Ha <laughs> ha. No regrets. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, regrets. Okay, but yes, let's go ahead and start off with Dr. Bristle, of course. Starting with his first one, ponies figuring out Santa hats. Apparently, um, you got to admit that this is probably the most confusing art here. It looks like they are literally <coughs> trying to figure out Santa hats just by staring at them. Though, admittedly, hey, you, he, he did just post you, vectors in there. It is kind of funny. You put you put the theme out there. He uh, just he just took it he just took it pretty much at face value. He he took it at face value, uh, and I'm not and it uh, it works. It does kind of work. I'm confused why he's trying to check the time by staring at the opposite side of his watch. <laughs> That's exactly what he's trying to do. All right, sorry. Just quickly, I'm um, getting the. Uh, the challenge down here so we can make sure we get these uh, challenges in the show notes and Dr. Bristle's secondary challenge ponies and knives. In this case, uh, we see uh, pink Amina and uh, facing off against Dr. Bristle. And I think it's his girlfriend once again. Yeah. Lovely Maine. I will have to say that the, Although I appreciate the attempt, uh, this is incorrectly done, as the challenge was not just ponies with a knife, it was Party Favor with a knife, as in the character Party Favor, uh, who first appeared in Season 5, Episode 1, uh, in Starlight's Town. So I am afraid I'm going to have to deduct 12 points from your score. I'm sorry. Actually, yeah, he looks like he took the uh, term Party Favor, not the Pony Party Favor. Once again, it was a fair attempt, and I acknowledge that he's put effort into his attempt, but I am sorry, but I will have to deduct 14 points. Well, yeah, the week is um... goodbye. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid for that, Toa, I will have to deduct 11 points hey, I don't from care. Dr. Bristle's score. <laughs> All right, so here we got um apparent now Toa Koi had decided to take on both challenges in one art. We have party favor with a balloon Santa hat or a ridiculous attempt at him, and apparently uh, ready to threaten me with a knife for it. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna heading out because me and Derek are gonna do some Doomsday High stuff. Awesome. Uh, do you want to do any quick mm -hmm. shoutouts before you vanish mm -hmm. off? Uh, comment. I gave a shout out to you guys. 
There you go. Comet, he's always he's he's always awesome. He's always going to be awesome. We still hang out and have fun, uh, even though he's not a co podcaster here with us anymore. It's yep. Because we're no, friends. I give, shout, I give a shout out to you guys because you guys are cool. All right, all right. Go ahead and um, beat out the get those doomsday heist down and get all the monies, man. Okay. Catch you later. Catch ya. Bye. All right, and that was wonderful. I loved it. So let's so go ahead and go. For a second. For a second, I thought that the the thing that he was def that Party Fear was defending with a knife was uh, Tom Servo, uh, just very malformed. Uh, <laughs> but no, it is indeed a Santa hat. Although I, I I recognize the attempt to make it look like Tom Servo, and I deduct fifteen more points from Doctor Bristle's score. <laughs> <laughs> was a good attempt love you so much sometimes and here we see party we see party favor with said knife about to prob, about to cut into a sentient cake so there's a lot of questions there it almost looks like the brave little toaster it i like it and here we also have deathlight productions and ponies trying to figure out santa hats Uh, I, I, I gotta admit, I'm trying a little bit more to figure out exactly what's going on with the image than with the other one, but it's still, I, I, could, I can see the pony, see the hat. I think that's um, Deathlight just kind of putting it, putting it on its head, or on its own head. Deathlight? Oh, he's not here. Something must have happened. He was here. He probably got dropped or something came up. Yeah, that's a shame. But yeah, still, it's um, pretty awesome work from Deathlight there, and I love every bit of it. So and you got fan from Vaguely Creepy. Indeed, Vaguely. and uh, we're going to go ahead and show off Vaguely Creepy's uh, apology art. Sorry I made your roomie pimp slap you. <laughs> Somehow that hurts a little more. <laughs> Not only did it slap, but pimp slap me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, actually, that helped me out here. So I do thank you for the apology, Begley. And you gave me an idea. So next week, chal next, oh, next few week challenge. Because next week will be Christmas, so we will not have a show. Week after that, we will be doing something as we will be doing something, but it will be Christmas, uh, not Christmas, Christmas. It will be New Year's Day. New Year's Day. So obviously not a good time to do a show either. So we will be doing random shenanigans on stream and we probably won't have a show until a, a week after that. So it'll be kind of a two week break, but we will still be on doing stuff. So a two week break from the show. But yeah, so the next few week challenge Pony's celebrating too hard. Whether too much eggnog or too much New Year's champagne, too much cake, too much booze, too much food, too much whatever. They're celebrating way too hard. They're stuffed to the gills. They're drunk on their asses. And they're probably all passed out or worse all around the party floor. And Cole, I... Ah, he's muted. So Ah, ah actually, it. no, no, no. I got it. I got it. I'm back. I was actually just waiting for Cirque to finish. But yes. Boo. And now time for the protest initiative art challenge. And of course, today's challenge is an easy one. It will be Rose Luck with a right-handed 1961 Gibson EB0 in the red cherry finish. Right. What? On the header, I'm just putting Rose Luck in a guitar. <laughs> ah, ah. But bonus points, if you remember that... I'm looking for Rose Luck and a right-handed 1961 Gibson EB-0 in the cherry red finish. If you know what I'm referencing with that, congratulations. If you don't, then never mind. Wait, wait sorry. Run through it one more time. I, I, it is I a right-handed 1961 Gibson EB-0 in the cherry red finish. Oh, damn it. That sounds familiar. Hang on. I, I feel like I... If anyone like would know it, I'd expect you to, actually. <laughs> okay, 1960, okay, 1961 Gibson. Okay, EV0. 
I have no idea when I lost control. I don't know when that <laughs> happened. It's all years ago, boss. Oh, See. okay then. Uh, do you want me to say what's a direct reference to? God dang it! Why? Why is it not? Oh. Okay, thank you, Google. It, it, didn't, it didn't immediately pop up in the in the search when I searched the bottle of guitar. It did the uh, in the related searches. It popped. It, it, it was realized it was there. And wasn't it blue? No, no, that's the. Uh, you're thinking of the bass guitar that. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's that's no. full. Because I was thinking full of coolie there. Yes, fully coolie. Uh, the guitar that Adamusk wields is, uh, to quote the, the wiki page, uh, a right-handed 1961 Gibson EB-0 in the cherry red finish. And they openly say it in the anime. <laughs> huh. Just it's like the monade's spawn from his head. It's funny, because if you search that model, it only brings up the base. Really? That's what I, that's what I found. That's what I kept finding. Weird. Like every like every result I found that had that model, it was all bass. Huh. Strange. All right. But anyways, yeah, the the guitar from FLCL, not, oh. not the bass guitar, but yeah, the, oh. the one that the main character has. So oh. Rose Luck and a guitar from Fully Cooley. Got it. Yes. <laughs> the Fully Cooley really... guitar. Okay. Yeah, Which I, I won't be as painfully specific this time. You can draw whatever guitar. I I, I won't care. I just want to really throw in that reference. <laughs> Which, by the way, uh, we have okay. put the reference word oh. for word into the show notes. By the awesome. way, the wiki, the wiki, Adamus bass guitar is the right-handed. So it was oh, bass. Oh, it was bass. Okay, gotcha, yes. gotcha. Bass guitar. Roger. <laughs>